Hello, welcome to the Mad Life podcast number four. Are we on four? Four. That's cool. That is cool. We're on a roll here. And we're husband and wife. We are husband and wife. We don't need to like schedule anybody to come in unless we want to. Yeah, if I want to have another guest, then I'm sorry, but your chair will be taken. You'll have to be on the mic back there. I, like I always step time. on the third mic and I always interject a little bit, you know. Yeah, so today we're talking about social media because... Drum roll, please. That's what we do. Social media. We are social media influencers for the past seven years. So I think we we should share our experience. Everyone's got their own experience, but let's talk about some of our opinions about social media. I'm going to be using my paper a little bit here because I wrote down some of the top things I wanted to talk about. Um, so one of the things that I want to talk about first is how social media has changed over the years. Put that mic right in front of that face. I want to talk about how social media has changed over the years. Oh, it's changed uh, like a big much. The algorithm has really set some people (laughs) I hate the word algorithm because nobody even knows what it means. No one knows what it means. Is there like a robot sitting somewhere being like, okay, this person, you know, gets in the algorithm. There's not one person that understands what an algorithm is. Well, what's really crazy is when me and Kyler started YouTube six years ago, we would have videos that would go viral like how many millions of views 30 million views 30 million 25 million 24 Mm -hmm. million 18 million like all the time and i don't know if it's because those people that were watching us at that time then grew up and we had to kind of revamp our channel or if it's because the algorithm changed over the years and now it's hard to even hit you know 100,000 views 200,000 views yeah i don't know i just know i just know that we were we were like oh geez back then i mean i mean going viral now people don't even get it like going viral on youtube was a whole different game than going viral on tiktok yeah. a whole different game people are be, loving tiktok now because of that reason like anybody yeah. any video anywhere can anybody go viral. can be famous you know for being literally but you know anything. what i think that is i think it's what? the algorithm i think youtube's algorithm used to be that any video you post it can go viral not even true not i even think close. so no you don't think Mm-mm. Then why on TikTok anyone? No, you really had it with with YouTube. You really had to have something really uniquely special about your content or your personality or whatever to make you go viral. And oh, really, what okay. made us go viral was our kids. Yeah, that's our. Like our we twin, had twins. We had a, our like, twins. It was very different. The girls were super like they were super adorable like you couldn't you couldn't ignore that yeah and And it was unique and instagram too has changed in my opinion like i feel like we were growing about a million followers a year for a while there and then all of a sudden it was just like now we only lose followers yeah which is crazy it's wild stays the same or loses yeah so yeah shadow banning i think we're shadow banned some people actually shadow banning is a real thing and some people do get shadow banned 100 percent. um when you're growing 25,000 followers a day and all of a sudden you grow $25,000, uh, 25, that's 25, when 25,000 <laughs> followers a day and then all of a sudden you go to losing and gaining this exact same amount every single month. Uh, it seems weird, there right? There might be something wrong there. It seems you know? very interesting. Yeah. Um. So one of th- another thing I want to talk about is how some people are very vulnerable and real on social media and some people just post highlights and how that could be that de- detrimental detrimental to some people viewing it because one people thing are only seeing you, sorry i didn't hi- cut you off but that's something i love about you thank you you've changed a lot of that you're actually showing mm-hmm. more real moments in your life yeah so when i word. first started social media i felt like it was supposed to be a highlight reel i didn't know people you know it was scary for me to go into that vulnerable state where i was showing like the messes and the chaos or whatever it was how i was feeling even like if i was having a bad day talking about that and i think what i have found over the years when i'm super vulnerable and share those experiences that people want to connect if people are on social media to connect to people and when they're having a hard day, they want to go on there and relate to people or they want to have a good laugh. So people are either on social media to connect, relate or laugh or whatever yeah. whatever it is, be entertained. And I think that for my page, what I try to do is just be super relatable and, and show the ups and the downs. T- truth be told, I actually think that's the a part of our demise. Really? I think it's part of our demise. I think, I think over the years, we've always just shown the perfect moments because we're afraid to show like maybe honestly like getting upset at one of our children yeah you know and or showing some form of discipline yeah or you know or the messes in the house not even just yeah not even not even just or talking about your weaknesses yeah talking about your weaknesses the things you're like (laughs) let's be honest like there are times where you have actually posted a legit video of you in in a kind of like a depression yeah 
that has gotten millions of views because there are a lot of people out there, um, mostly mostly women, I think, that related mm-hmm. to your experience. Yeah. That uh, they really they liked to see somebody that they view as so perfect on the internet, probably as a fan or a follower or a viewers. Uh, that you actually have, you know, that I have real feelings. Re- yeah, exactly. Real We're feelings. not just robots, you know? Yeah, no, no. Yeah. That's what I've really tried to do. I, I feel, I find like I love social media the most when we can show all of that. Like it was, it's hard for me. Like we were, we were just posting like challenges, buying everything in one color for the day. Like it was all just surface level trends. It was never like, okay, well, do you really want to know who we are as mm-hmm. the fish fam? I think that's kind of what we've, transition to over the years it went from just challenges and fun and games to like okay here's who we really are yeah and i think i show a lot of that mostly on instagram which is so funny i want to talk about all the different platforms and how we view them so differently instagram my view is like i have all these mom friends like we it's like my little personal page where i get on there and we all chat about deep things relatable things mom life i, I open up the most on my instagram and my stories um TikTok, you won't know a lot about us on TikTok. We post just fun dances. It's kind of like more surface level, I would say. But I have no hesitation hesitation to post anything on TikTok. Like I feel like I'm more free. Yeah. On Instagram, I'm more worried about posting something that seems cheesy or that people won't understand. But TikTok, I'll post anything. Do you feel like that? Yeah, and then YouTube's so just like people are ruthless. You know, they're ruthless. They tear you down. Like anything you post, they nitpick it. Like we have hate pages and stuff. Like. From you know, YouTube, it's all yeah. good. It's like keep but hating fish fans. Nobody snark. hates. We don't really care that much, but I will say, like, we get picked apart for like the dumbest things. Yeah, I think that's one of the negative things of social media. I want to talk about the negative and positives. One of the things about the negative is pe- just hate. Like, people will hide behind their computer and they'll just send mean messages to everybody, and they're mm. just being internet trolls. I don't even feel like half the time they mean it. They just want to tear people down because they're just having a bad day, or they think it's funny. The only re- the only time I ever see a negative comment is if it's in my peripheral vision. Like, honestly, like, I just don't, I don't live it. I know that Kyler you read the comments. He doesn't just, care. And you know what's so funny about me is I read every single DM. I can tell when it's positive. Because I don't like the blue dot there. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but it's the truth. I don't like to see the blue dots on my Instagram, so I open every single one every single day. It is true. There would be times where I'll catch Madison and she will literally be just commenting back to fans, which I think is incredible. It's like all I do all day, not all day, but like when I get to the mode of the day where I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a minute here to like respond to people. I open every DM and I don't get to all of them, but I would say I respond about 70 a day. That's really good. Honestly, Mm -hmm. that's really, that's some great, great, uh, and it's not just for them to feel like I'm supporting them in their comment. It's like, I actually like, um, comment on this video, chatting with people. Comment on this video. Yeah, comment on this video. I need to do better at responding to all these comments too. I've been doing pretty good. I've been picking a lot of them responding. So what are some of the positives of social media? Or here, let's talk about another negative thing that I thought about social media. I think people nowadays compare themselves a lot and then they get into depression. Like if I find myself on social media and I'm having a really hard day and things are chaotic and I didn't get to all my things I needed to get to and the kids were tired or whiny or whatever and I didn't feel like my best self and then I go on there and I see these all these like picture perfect moments from all these people traveling and doing all these things. I feel like it's unattainable in my life and I start going, oh my gosh, why am I not like them? And I think a lot of times people will feel that way we're sitting on social media they're not good enough you don't have any likes you don't have enough views why don't people like me um why is my life not like theirs now and people start um forgetting about who they are and like how they're not grateful for like where they're at in their life and i get like that too and as soon as like i come back down and go oh my gosh i already have a good life just how it is i don't need to compare myself but it's hard for teenagers and young people to do that. Well, it's really hard for people to figure it out. I think your brother dealt with that for a long time, you know, because mm-hmm. he had such a spike in growth and then it just kind of like yeah, died for him. Um, he could have kept it going, I think, if he wanted to. I don't think he cared about social media very much. Like, I don't think he wanted that to be yeah, his thing. But I also didn't think he didn't know how to handle it either because it was so yeah. fast. He didn't know how to handle it. So what do you do with it? So, But I think a lot of women, too, mm-hmm. like compare their bodies, compare, you know, their homes. And I think it's hard not to do that. But I think we need to, like, not shame people and, and realize that everyone has a beautiful life in their own way. I think that's a negative side of social media. It's just comparison. Yeah, I encourage everybody that's listening to this podcast to go and comment something nice on somebody's social media. Like, don't look for the bad in 
every mm-hmm. little, you know, thing that people are doing. Cause none of us are perfect. You know, we're all striving to do yeah. good things hopefully. And, and, uh, we all got something that's and not the good people about us. and the people whose lives do seem perfect it's not like they're struggling with something i would love to examine like all the karens out there that comment like certain things about <laughs> like why they comment whatever. like oh i would love to know how your parenting life was like you know well, I mean? nobody's perfect at all moments like and in there another thing that i don't like about social media is people judge off of like one post it's like okay you see a picture of of me with one of the kids and then I get comments like, why don't you post with the other, with the other kid as much? You don't like them as much. I got that or, yesterday. Really? For Oliver. Yeah. I got that yesterday for Oliver. Like it's like always that Halston's her favorite. Well, I mean, that's not true. Just on this day, we just post a picture of Halston. Just happened a picture of Halston. Exactly. Yeah. People judge everything. You post your house messy one time and they're like, oh, you don't clean your house. Like, oh, you're not doing it right or whatever. Like or Madison's judge. not a good mom because we have a nanny. It's like, oh yeah, what? We have five kids. We run a, a pretty gnarly operation. We have fourteen businesses that we run and yeah. are a part of. Lots of different. I mean, it's just like, just wait. You just wait till you. We have will kids. share all our businesses with them sometime too. Yeah, I think we should be cool. Um, yeah, just wait till you have kids. It's it's hard, and if you can afford a nanny and it's helpful for your life, and you're so in your kids' life all day, which I was. It was never like the nanny's over here and I'm over here. It was like we were doing Madison's it all together. Here. So I'm. Always here, just so you guys Madison's know. Madison's the kind of person that like, just like today, actually, when I told you, you know, we were met, we met at the gym. You didn't want to work <laughs> out there because I was leaving, which was really cute that you showed up, by the way. Thanks. And to surprise me, I love seeing my wife at the gym. <laughs> Thank you. I've been trying to work you know? out every day. No, I love seeing you. It doesn't mean like, I don't really care if you work out. It's up to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? But anyway, what were you going to say? Oh, I don't know where I was going. Where was I going? Oh, yeah. Well, that I, I just want to uh, go home with the kids. Yeah, yeah. No, you came home. You were supposed to go downstairs and work out. You said you are going to, and then you didn't. You yeah, ended up making, I'm making food for the kids and playing with them and stuff, which yeah. is awesome. You got to get that me Picking time, them though. up from preschool. Madison's um, an incredible mother. Thanks. I love, I think it's because I love being a mom so much. Like, it's like my favorite thing in the whole world. Yeah, it um, shows. Let's get back on track here. So we talked about some of the negatives of social media. What are some of the positives of social media? I'll tell you what I think the positives are first, and then you can tell me. I think some of the really cool positives of social media is that we are able to connect with people instantly. We're able to, anything you want to research or look up, you can look it up in two seconds. You can be inspired by so many so quickly. Um, and I like the community vibes of it. You never feel alone. Like I feel like I'm constantly all day, like connecting, just, it can see everybody's life all at once. Oh, that's what my friend, you know, I haven't seen her for three years. You know, she just had a baby. Like that's you're like kind of keeping of track parts. of it all. You yeah. can keep track of everybody without speaking to them every day. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Even though I'd love to speak to all my friends every day. It's all but right. it's, not it's not realistic. Some people don't live by each other and you feel like you're part of everyone's lives. Yeah. I always know what's going on. Everybody's like, oh yeah, I saw your post yesterday. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's cool. So there's I definitely think, positive to it. For me, I really like the the stretching part because I was always in my head. I was a kid. Mm-hmm. I was the kid who used to post like guitar, me playing the guitar online on Facebook back in the day. And then I would delete it five seconds later. You know, it wasn't a thing yet. Nobody even yeah. knew what it was. So it was embarrassing and we felt judged. But now because everybody does it, it gives you a, the ability to put yourself out there and, um, and stretch that way. Yeah. You know? I've, I've had times where I've deleted photos, like I'll post something and then I'll delete it. I haven't done that in a long time, but I remember like when I was very self-conscious, like five years ago when we first started it, Yeah. I was so self-conscious. Like I'd post something like, oh, it's not good enough. I'm deleting it. Yeah. Why did I do that? I mean, and you probably I mean, look just... back at your guitar things and like, why did I do that? Like, cause now I have such a different perspective on it. Like I think maybe I'm just yeah. more co- confident now. People don't know this, but I've been playing and singing for a long time. I just haven't done anything about it cause I was always nervous. Mm-hmm. You know? Well, and it's hard to put yourself out there. I think that's like you first start putting yourself out there a little bit and then you get nervous and you pull back and then you try it a little bit and then you get some positive feedback and then you get some Now I'm 36 years old trying confidence. to be a country music artist. It's never too late. Can you imagine <laughs> if you're 40 and then started? I'm really glad I did. I'm really be happy glad I, did. I put myself 30. in front of 2,000 people the other day on the stage. It was incredible. It was cool. I, always, I always think this way. Like if you have something you love to do, just do it. Like who cares what the world thinks? You want to do it anyway. It doesn't matter how people respond or if it becomes number one, but just do what you love and then you'll never regret it. You never know. Yeah. Follow me. Cause so there's a lot it. of positives <laughs> to social media and I personally love it. Which platform is your favorite? Spotify. You like oh, oh, Spotify? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, Spotify. Or do you like no. podcasts? Do you like um, my favorite platform? TikTok, for and YouTube content is truthfully 
is truthfully to put content out there is truthfully YouTube. YouTube's landscape has changed. So it's, you know, I don't know. I don't want to talk about monetary stuff, but Mm -hmm. I will say the landscape has changed. So it's more difficult to like, to be as excited as it used to be, but, and that's the truth. Um, but I really like YouTube videos. I like long form content because long form content is more meaningful. Like the short form dances and stuff like that are cool. But you don't connect like, as much. I don't connect. I see. Connect I'm kind like, of the opposite a little bit. So I love to connect the videos where you can connect with someone, but I don't like them so long. So I love when somebody will post like a one minute video. That's why I'm going to take a lot of these podcasts and just cut them up in little content because some people don't have the time to sit and listen to the whole thing. But I love to hear things like this. But yeah. I just want it to be shorter. It's, I okay. So I, I I used to watch Logan Paul's videos all the time, mm-hmm. or Casey Neistat's videos all the time. You know, when we were all you know, doing our thing, you know, I, I used to dissect everybody, right? Yeah. I used to love Logan Paul, the way he used to tell stories or, or Casey, the way he used to tell stories. Mm-hmm. That's why I like it because I like the storyline. Yeah. You know? They did a really good job of telling stories. Yeah. With YouTube, you can have more fun with it. You can tell like a whole story and like when we film vlogs, it's fun because you're like, okay, we have to get creative with it and film a certain way and the editing is fun. And whereas I feel like people get lazy with TikToks and, and instagram post like it's just a one second thing it's like it's like instant like gratification dopamine whatever mm-hmm. but uh for youtube it's more of a journey yeah it's more of a journey to create and i like creating that's why we make movies that's why i like to be a part of that process is because you're creating something lasting that's why i like to make music is because i like to you know write my story down mm-hmm. or get it get it down on paper and then you know, come out with a song that, um, that has meaning and has lasting meaning. Yeah. Cause you, when you watch a TikTok, it only has lasting meaning for two seconds. I can't even find like the, la- I can't even find certain TikToks cause it's like yeah. 400 posts down. Like I, it just, I don't know. It's yeah, just not, it's true. You feel so good me. after a movie or a good song. Yeah. And you might have a laugh on a TikTok. TikToks are pretty funny though. Like I spend a lot of time like scrolling and laughing. Like we send some funny ones to each other all the time. But anyway, so, okay, those are our favorites. Oh, so my favorite platform is, um, I actually like Instagram the most. I would say I spend the most time on Instagram chatting with people, but I have the most fun on TikTok. I take Instagram more, more seriously. Instagram is more- like the OG benchmark, like, you know, platform. I mean, yeah. right? Like it's just, it's what about Facebook. It's never going anywhere. You know, some people actually are still on Facebook a lot of their time. Like I, I don't go on Facebook at all. Do you? Not really. <laughs> I don't. We post on Facebook every single day. I don't even know who does it for us. So we have somebody who has access to our Facebook account. We actually hired somebody out to like take all of our old content that we've created throughout the years and they just post things all day long. So so sometimes I'll get notifications all day long. I think they post like five of them a day and I go on there and I watch them sometimes, but some of them have like 10, 15 million views. Yeah. People are on there watching them. Cool. Thanks for posting that. (laughs) I'm glad I got. Who is posting all of them? Uh, Our parent agency. Hmm. Just so you guys know all the other platforms, though. That's us. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so... It's still us, no matter what. I guess it is still us. But they're it's all old. Help. Like, they'll post, like, one... It'll be, like, had my surgery today, and it was from, like, six months ago, but they don't change the title. So people on there were like, whoa, she just had a surgery. Oh, last week she had a baby. Oh, wait, now she's... Yeah. And now it's 4th of July all of a sudden. Oh, they posted an Easter one, like, last week. It was... Whatever. It just I, our, I don't know. Our Facebook's just throwbacks. Um, okay. Who, what are some of your favorite accounts to follow? Like not necessarily like usernames, but like what kinds of content do you like to watch from people? Madison Bontempo. I love that account. (laughs) She's so fine. I I'll tell you what kind of accounts I like to follow the most. I love following fashion and home decor. And then a lot of mom stuff like relatable mom content is mostly what I follow. What's on your page? Your for you page is completely different than mine. My for you page is all over the place. Yeah. Um, I get the weirdest content like car stuff, fishing. (laughs) It's weird. Do you guys like that Instagram changed it so that anything you view a couple times of the day, like now all of your content's that? Like you don't get to see anything else. I'm not going to get a fishing video ever. I never get to know about fishing. Never. Because I'm too late now. They chose exactly who I am because one day I stayed five seconds longer on that picture. No, you can still change it up. What, so now I start long, searching stuff. Stay I, long. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can change my note. That'd be fun. Let's I'm going to start it. searching random things and sit on that photo for 10 seconds and see if my whole for you page starts switching up. 
or something else. I have a lot of like UFC stuff on here. I like to watch fighting stuff apparently. Jet ski stuff. Matt, hmm. you understand? Let me see what my For You page is too. A lot of jet skis. I have two jet ski videos on, on one grid. Two jet ski videos on one grid, which means I've been watching lots of jet ski stuff. Okay, I see the For You page. That's TikTok. This is called on Instagram the home feed, right? I'm not sure what this is called, but okay. Mine's a lot of like makeup, beauty, fashion, cute little moms with their kids, home decor, pregnancy announcements. Fitness stuff because Madison's trying to get me to get abs, which I'm trying. So I got guys with like abs on here. <laughs> Maybe you've been looking on my phone. Oh, probably. All those abs and like six pack guys. Plane crashes. What? I don't know. I, I don't well, know. Well, you watch a lot, a lot of news. Of... Like he, he'll tune into news all the time. I don't, I don't look at that kind of stuff as much. Okay. I have another thing I want to talk about. Okay. What are our future goals for social media? Like when you, when you see like your page and you're like, or any of our platforms, when you're like, I wish I was better at this. Like what are some of your things that you want to like do better at on your pages or... I'm just not good. I'm not a good, I'm not a good social media creator. I'm not. I just don't think I've ever really been. Like you don't feel like you're as creative as post random stuff? Not when it comes to it because it feels like social media sometimes you feel like you have to post funny stuff or you have to be doing a dance because today's world is like, it is TikTok. TikTok is the front runner right now. Um, and if you're not like dancing, you're not with it. Well, I hate that they, that people feel like they have to post the trend. They'll post something they'll rather post a trend than something authentic to them just because they know it'll get more likes or views. And sometimes it's good to do that to get your page back in the algorithm. But I think for the most part, like being authentic, even if you know it's not going to get a lot of likes or views, you just post it anyway. If it feels authentic to you. The the things that do really well for us, we'll get like 10 million views on a video of us just dancing as a family. Whenever we're together as a family, family stuff does well. It's like the same thing in public. We get noticed the most when we're all together as a yeah. unit and then, and it goes down and all the way to me at the bottom. And mm-hmm. it's like, you, you're the dad of the twins, right? <laughs> That's about it. You're the fish fam, right? I Every once in a while that. I get like a country music thing. Well, you know what's cool. funny? You know, like, Hey, yes, I, you do actually. <laughs> he did the other day. It was cool. He's like, they're like, I watch, I listen to your music. So what's funny is we used to only get recognized for our YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, you guys are the fish fam on YouTube. Now it's trickling into a lot of people will stop us and be like, Hey, I follow you on TikTok." So I think like we've, cause we that post cool. on TikTok like almost every day now. So I think that we're starting to get recognized now for TikTok as well. Um, so something I want to get better at social media is, um, hmm, maybe posting, Ooh. I don't know, more often, but I've been posting a lot lately. I really, it's crazy. Like I do not want to go away from the vlogs. I just yeah. want to keep going. Well, we've been pretty consistent as because you stop all of now. Them. You stop now. You stop the journal. Like we have an amazing journal. Yeah. Online, of our life. Yeah, we do. Pretty when cool. I look back at all those videos, I mean, I always say once a week I'll sit there and watch an old video, and I just love it so much. I just I want to I, keep, I want to do like two videos a week. Subscribe to the Fish Fam. I say we do one video a week on our YouTube Fish Fam, one video a week on my Mad Life, one podcast a week on my, my Mad Life, a TikTok every day stories all day long one photo on my page a week no four on my instagram a week i post every other day on my instagram that's a lot of content yeah i mean it's a lot of content but but i feel like we use the content all the platforms like we'll film film a youtube video then we'll take those videos and cut them into reels and then we'll post that on tiktok we'll post that on instagram it's like we're creating all new content every day yeah i i but i like i like this life it's cool it is fun. We it's love cool. making it's videos. It's different every day. I think that helps too is we don't see it as like a job as much because Kyler and I just love like acting stuff, entertaining. Our kids love acting stuff, entertaining. Like they're just Stay tuned so for imaginative. That. Got some good stuff coming. Oh yeah. Um, okay. So we don't have any goals for like what we want to do better at. I guess just being more consistent. Maybe we like, more consistent with all of our channels and like really putting a lot of effort in to make them like high quality videos. I think my goals have shifted for sure. Like my, my Instagram is just like country music mostly. Yeah. It's like all I want to do. Yeah. Which is cool. I started to hit on this like three or four times. It's all I want to do. If I had, if I had a choice, I could be in the studio every single day. And I hope that happens being on stage every week. I would do it. It was so fun watching Kyler 
um, on stage the other day. Like I wish he could just do that all the time. And I think it's cool. Like we were like these YouTubers for a while and now we're finding other passions. Like I'm getting really into my Mad Life channel. You want to do country, country I've always music. had these passions though. I've had the passion. It's true. You've had a passion for acting your whole life. You've had those passions. Mm -hmm. We just happen to have the blessing and opportunity to take this path for a while to honestly provide for our family. Yeah. And <laughs> whatever it takes. You mm -hmm. do whatever it takes to provide for your family, whatever opportunity comes your way to put food on the table for your kids. Yeah. That's all that matters, you know? Mm -hmm. And we get a lot of judgment for that. You well, know? that's one of the things I wrote down is people will sometimes be like, well, you guys should get a real job. Like that's one of the hate, most real hate, job. You have no idea. Hate messages we get. And I'm like, you guys, marketing has been around forever. Like people, you, you tune into infomercials when my mom was younger. She would like, you see commercials on TV, you see actors and stuff like it's all you the same. see billboards. We like people are using now, all of us influencers who are showing and being vulnerable our real lives to try out a product. Imagine that their actors actually trying out the product themselves and then telling you their review. It's marketing at its finest. And it, like totally. we have to memorize the lines. We have to edit it. We have to film it. You got to get the right lighting. Um, we, we try out the products. We research the products. And we, and we also, so people think a, a lot of times they, they discount the fact that like, Oh, you get paid so much to do this or that or whatever. Like, we, mm -hmm. we built ourselves to this point. Yeah, you know, we built we took, it for six years. You put videos took, out every day that you're not making money on. I don't make years, money. Eight years of doing this. Eight years of doing this since 2015. Yeah. 2015 is when we started social media. That day that the day that we decided to do social media was before we started our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. It was when we jumped on Musical.ly and we were on True. Instagram because we made videos of Logan and Jake in Hollywood. Like it's it was it's been a long time doing this. We spent a long time building our audience. Yeah. You know, you know, getting people to tune in. So, yeah. So yes, I do think it's a real job and I do think that we put a lot of effort into it and we, we put a lot of our creativity into it and our time and our energy and we love it. And I do feel like this is a job because it is hard work. At times. And I do think, and I do think there's some luck involved and that's life. Mm -hmm. There is so many people, including people who build businesses who within 12 months have somebody think their product is, is great for their portfolio and buy them out and yep. they make millions of dollars, you know, just because it's true. They, so what they put in 12, you put in 12 months of work, minimum work to build a business or whatever. And somebody likes your idea and just buys you out. You consider that a real job. Like life is luck. Yeah, it is. Life is luck. And also, you know, and, and also, luck. and it's what's meant to be like, yeah, exactly. I think like sometimes when I think of luck, I think of it, well, God put you in that situation. He meant for that to happen because of whatever outcome you are in. Maybe it was that we need to have a voice to like, I've had so many people over the years, like say that we help them get through hard times. They look up to our family. They want a family like us one day. They were going through depression. Thank you, Ma like Madison and Kyler for helping me get through this. I can't even tell you how many DMs we've gotten that. I feel like we were put in this position because we want to use our voice for good and be able to help people. Me and Madison and, have been a part of Make-A-Wish Foundation uh, mm -hmm. kids. We've done humanitarian efforts overseas. We built a school in India. I've done water projects, you know, across, you know, all over the world. Um, kids drinking muddy water, you know, and I was able yeah. to use my influence to raise money to provide for, you know, to provide for villages in Cambodia and, and uh, Bali, little islands outside of Bali that, that you know, struggle with water problems. The, we were... 100 percent um by god's design um put in a situation for for for, for real and true i think influence. if you're i think if you're given the opportunity to be in in a place like where you have influence and you're not using it for good then i feel like that's like really sad because i've seen so many influencers well they'll blow up and then they just think they're like on this like level of like above people and then they just like don't i don't know they just like change like they're not yeah lots of we know lots of people who don't, you know, who don't, they don't <laughs> they care anymore stay in their own lane. They yeah, don't they care just... about their friends. And who don't... knows? Maybe that's us putting judgment. No, oh, it is. Totally. We don't We're know what happens sure. behind, Judged. behind their life. But Judged. all I'm saying is I feel blessed that we've been in this position. I do think this is a real job. I do think that we've been able to use our platform for good. And ultimately, um, yeah. Social media is dope. Social media is dope. Social media is dope, but it's also dangerous. It's very dangerous. It can pull families apart, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't hit on this. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know which one you're talking about. Just my, bro about. my brother, you know. My brother. 
are you kidding? Are, really? Oh yeah. Yeah. It can pull families apart truthfully. And, uh, and that can be like a, a crazy thing. But like, that can happen outside of social media. That can happen too. outside of social media, but you have to be careful. You have to be careful because the grass isn't always greener. Yeah. You know, the grass isn't always greener. I think that's the problem. I think so, a lot of times people compare themselves. Like you were saying, you compare yourself too much. And you start to get these fantasies of having certain lives and it doesn't really work out that way. You know, it doesn't really work out there. Oh, so one thing I noticed with social media is like people will have this fantasy because they see this thing and they keep saving it and saving it. I want to do that one day. I want to be like that. I want to have a photo like that. I want to be in that moment like that. And then when they get there and it's not perf- picture perfect like the photo, they're like, what's wrong with me? And I think that people have to realize that a lot of the times photos and things aren't really always as they seem. Yeah. Like it's just, it's fabricated. Yeah. Totally. So don't quit your day I feel job. like for all of those, I got like, this really one, good. I got this one friend of mine. His name's Caden. <laughs> I always tell him, <laughs> don't quit your day job, bro. Keep- Caden's here, you guys. He's our audience. So that's why. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Caden. Hey, but by the way, so because I feel like social media is so cool and that we've been able to be a part of it for all these years and that we've been able to have this blessing of social media in our lives, um, how do other people start social media? Like, let's talk about how, wh- how we think people can be successful on social media. Right. I think consistency is the key. If you're going to do this job, you have to, you have to like, you got to post every day. I mean, there was a time where we were literally posting every single day. We were doing mm-hmm. daily vlogs for like 300 days. Which yeah. It was like one hell of a deal, you know? So you have to be very, very consistent if you want to, hit the algorithm i also whatever, think you know. trends are huge just you need to like go see like what trends are happening and use like the hashtags or like the right sound so that it goes into the algorithm and i also think finding your niche like okay if you're going to be a cooking page then post consistently cooking stuff because people will follow you start following you for that and the, when they find your page then they'll you'll fall into that category I think that if you're posting like cooking, then house decor, then mom life, I feel like I'm a little bit of like all over the place on my page a little bit. We're I could totally, do better yeah, at that. Bear told us that. He's like, man, you guys are like a little bit inconsistent. I'm like, dude, yeah. because we have so many facets of our life and we're just real, you know, but he, he does a good he point. He did say know? pick one thing and go hard at that. Like every week post that same type of thing for a year and see what happens. We have our friend. He's like a big fan of like helping us out all the time he's so nice i love bear so bear, much and he gives GDO. us like real advice like you know most friends are like jackson oh, you're doing podcast. good podcast if you don't know the jackson podcast guys go check it yeah, out yeah that's his podcast but you know how most friends will just be like oh you're doing good they like surface level no he'll tell you how it is and he will tell us like what we're doing wrong <laughs> what we should do better and he's I was, a great outsider i feel so know, motivated after talking in. to him I'm what like, other notes i'm like got okay bear i'm gonna do that Jeez. okay so how to become a successful like on social media if you want to start it it's not too late to start um i say if you want to be on social media like an influencer start now you know post real stuff um vulnerable things pick your niche post consistently use the right hashtags do trends what do you have do you have a message for the oh oh oh, i have another thing if you want to be like an influencer um and you're trying to make it do collaborations collaborations are huge so get with somebody who will collaborate with you and if you're trying to like go with like a big someone with a huge following sometimes i find like if i reach out in the past you really got to have something of value for sure to bring to the to bring to the partnership because it is a partnership so like you can collab with smaller accounts first yeah collab with smaller accounts people that are in your same same you know range and or you know if you have something very unique you know like we we felt like we did in the beginning like we had our our baby girls that everybody wanted to make videos with they thought were so cute Mm -hmm. and it worked for us you know, you might have like a cooking, baking thing or whatever. And you want to take to somebody like they might have a bigger following than you. Or just tag each other. For like, content. for instance, like well, whenever we do photo shoots around in, in this area, if there's like a photographer that wants to get their images out there and see that they do photography. Like they'll shoot us for free and then I'll tag their page. Or yeah. like if I, there's like small shops that will send me kids clothes and is that like I a, will. Is that like a passive aggressive way of saying, hey, reach out to me all photographers. Yeah, photographers <laughs> reach out. No, but for like if if I don't want to like funny. if there's like a kids line that's that I love their stuff and they want like, they want promotion and I want their stuff, then we'll trade and they'll send me their stuff and I'll post their things. So I think collaborations are huge. Like find people that you love and ask if like you guys can collaborate in a way. I think Lord. that really gets their name out there. I did that at the beginning all the time, like beginning of my Instagram, beginning That's- of YouTube. We just collabed with every channel. We collabed with all of our favorite Instagram shops. And we then tag we kind of stopped. 
And the reason why we stopped is because we are exhausted. Like that is the truth. Like, I don't it was think... hard to do a lot of trades and collabs because it's because you're just no, not non-stop. even that. I was talking about more like like a long life of kids. It's just very hard to move like like oh, that yeah. anymore. Running around with just the twins back then was so easy, and now it's like we got we're we're bringing a whole train with us now. Yeah, like you if know? you watch our old videos, I feel like most of our videos were out of the house. Now it's like half of our videos are in the house because we're like here all the time with the yeah. kids. It's all right, though. Okay, well, social media oh, is cool. Boy. What else did I write here? Goals, favorite accounts, My, favorite platform. How we doing, bud? All right. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I love connecting to moms and let's see what else. Not just moms. I love connecting to anybody on social media, honestly. Um, no, we're not doing ASMR on this podcast. Let's talk about live streams for one second. <laughs> Can we please the late night live streams on, on TikTok? What is going on? Yeah, what is going on on the late night live streams on TikTok? We get on there and they're, okay, if you're one of these people, I'm so sorry. I mean, we all have different things that we think are cool, but like, but like the moving nah, the moving nah, the toy I'm sorry. balls I'm just in be the water. Right now. I'm be okay, listen, right now. can I tell them what okay, it is? Go ahead. So there'll be like a bowl. And then there'll be like a bunch of like wooden balls and like little toys. And then they got a spoon and then they've got like lava lamps behind them. And they're just and a like, witch's hat or something. And they're like moving the like stuff around. And then the next person will have like nails this long and they'll just be like hitting the mic and be like, hello. Yes. Everybody is oh, here. It's more like this. Yeah. So they don't really talk. It's like, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> so, so me and Kyler will be like what is happening it's a lot of this ASMR stuff and then I've seen a lot of people will pretend like they're like a cartoon character so they're not even real they're just acting like they're like in a video game like and they're glitching sometimes oh, like, I did the Michael the Michael Jackson one was hilarious <laughs> he's like thanks for sending the thanks <laughs> but what we, is he get? so here, <laughs> and he goes back like Stop. Thanks for Michael Jackson. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So they pretend, like, you know, in the video game, how the character is like waiting for you to move the controller. So they, they do that. Okay. So, anyway, so me Whatever. and Kyler thought it was so fun. So we thought we would do that one night. So I don't know if you guys have tuned into our TikTok lives. We, we Please don't, don't. So we don't ever do TikTok lives, but over the last two weeks, we thought it was really fun to start doing them because we do really weird stuff. So at like midnight, we'll get on. We, for, like, as in her. No, but you are with me. I kind of just sit there and watch you do your thing. <laughs> so I like to just like turn into like this witch all of a sudden and I will just find random items around the house. My brother does it with me. So he brings in items and then he plays music because he's like a DJ. So he'll like add in like the scary music comes in and then. Oh my gosh. What I'm are so you sorry. doing? I'm getting on live stream right now. Why are you getting on live stream on my podcast? Because it's going to be so cool. So. I'll start doing like really weird stuff. My brother starts bringing things in, like handing me props, and then I'll pretend like I can tell fortunes. And we have like this creepy music come in, and then he's trying to like take it to the next level. So he wanted to go to like the costume store this week and get like witch costumes and like weird wizard things and like um, lava lamps and fog. And we're just gonna do like these nuts live streams at midnight. It's gonna be called the TikTok Midnight. I don't know what it's being called. The Fish Fam Midnight episode. Something mid no. It's going to be like... Midnight Horrors. Midnight. What? Well, that was like... Well, Kyler, Kyler titled our last one Witchcraft and Wizardry. And every person that would get on would be like, I thought you guys were Christian. I thought you guys were Christian. And I'm like, you guys, we are Christian. Kyler's just trying to be silly. So am I. So we're not really telling real I actually witchcraft. really do believe that Harry Potter was, was uh, Christian. I mean, he's a fictional character, so we don't really know... And it just seems like he has Christian like qualities. <laughs> like Harry Potter, the real Harry Potter from the Wizards, <laughs> from Hogwarts, was Christian. Who knows? But anyway, um, thanks for hanging out with us and talking social media. Comment below any other questions you have for me about social media. Overall, Kyler and I have loved being a part of it. And I think there's a lot of positive things to it. It outweighs the negative for sure. And stay tuned for all the more, all the fun adventures. Of the fish fam. The we're, mad we're life. We're talking about some more juicy stuff next time. I'm talking like the deep, dark stuff that's happened in social media. Ooh, let's talk about the deep friends, circles. Friends that we, you know. Kyler, stuff like I don't that. know if I want to talk about that. You don't want to talk about stuff like that? We'll talk about it this week amongst each other and decide if the deep, 
the deep um what's i think it, it is kind of cool the to deep talk about truth that kind of, stuff. of i think that is kind of cool media. to talk about that kind of stuff like i could say it right now i'm just gonna say it no okay? let's just keep it for the next deep section you know just like the basic you don't want to talk about it right now no let's I don't talk like, about it next time yeah i don't want to talk about that oh she's nervous because i don't know what you're gonna say you like sometimes will say stuff and that makes me so nervous because some stuff we I want to talk about us. this because of the experience we had the other night. It was, yeah, it, but, was it was great yeah, to but come let's, back to, let's right? Talk it a, was great to come back to. But can we discuss this on another on the next episode? Yeah, I, I mean, want you to first tell me like what you're gonna say because I'm a little nervous. I mean, that's the best because part it's personal time. stuff sometimes. Uh, per, okay. Yeah, well, personal stuff is good. We shared all the personal stuff today, but I don't know sometimes. Whatever, I'm leaving. I'm leaving this podcast. Okay, this is, bye. Yes, I'm leaving. <laughs> Anyway, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you on the next podcast. Go make a difference. Love you all.